So uh, there is now a trial date set uh, for the two remaining uh, people who allegedly fueled uh, Matthew Perry with drugs uh, where he ended up with that fatal overdose. The two people are the ketamine queen who we've talked about and one of the doctors, Dr. Placentia. They will go on trial next March. She faces up to life in prison. He wow. faces up to 20 years in prison. Um, it is very interesting that her lawyer turns out to be Mark Garagos, the famous lawyer who represented Scott Peterson, Winona Ryder, and many others. And Garagos was on the Today Show today and made a comment which really raised my two eyebrows. Yeah. Here's what he said. How did she get connected to Matthew Perry in the first place? It's like there's like mystery surrounding this. Well, there's no mystery. She isn't connected to Matthew Perry at all. People like to make her out into something that she isn't, but there's a whole different side here, a story to be told, and it will be told in a trial. It is interesting. Wow. He is saying there is no nope. connection. I will tell you one connection that I know. Uh, we're that? doing a documentary uh, that will air on uh, the 16th of September on the whole drug ring, celebrity mm. drug ring in Hollywood in the wake of Matthew Perry's death. But the one thing that I do know is that Matthew Perry ended up in a rehab facility with two other people, Brooke Mueller mm. and the Ketamine Queen. So they were connecting dots here and we know they got a search warrant right. against Brooke Mueller. She hasn't been charged with anything but it seemed like that helped lead them to the oh, ketamine queen. I yeah, I remember listening to the uh, United States attorney talk, or federal prosecutor talk, and, and laying out all of the evidence, and there were a ton of connections, at least the way the government you know, sort of lays this thing out.